everyone, Dustin here from Dustin's Travels. Today, I'm going to talk about... Hey everyone, Dustin here from Dustin's Travels. Today, we're going to talk about where can you see all the animals in Yellowstone National Park, including the wolves and the bears. Let's go. All right, so you're going to Yellowstone National Park. You want to know where can I see the animals so you can plan your trip and know where to stay, where to go, where to drive, and all that good stuff. Okay, so let's go through it right now. First, we'll start with the big cojona of Yellowstone, I think, is the wolves. They were reintroduced, oh, about 20 years ago or so, and they have grown ever since then. There's a few wolf packs throughout the park, and yes, you can see them. Um, they, they are, they tend to be a little bit harder to spot and you can really only see them throughout certain times of the day. Um, the, the ranger, when we were there, so we went there in 2020, the ranger told us in 2019, all of 2019 for the summer, she only saw the wolves like four times. We saw the wolves, uh, almost every day while we were there. Um, so really great opportunity to see the wolves. Now, before I go into the wolves and the rest of the animals, something very important to know about seeing the animals in Yellowstone the early bird catches the worm. That is going to be your theme for Yellowstone. If you get up early, you're going to see way more animals, especially the predators, than if you sleep in. And also, the same goes for at night. So if you are out and about at, and now I say at night, but I really mean a couple hours before sunset, um, then you're going to likely see more animals, including the wolves, than not. So general rule of thumb, from sunset to about two to three hours after sunset, and I'm sorry, sunrise to two to three hours after sunrise, and then sunset and two to three hours before sunset, those are gonna be the times to see animals. It's gonna increase your your uh, experience at Yellowstone double by 100% if you, if you do that. So when we were there, sunrise was about 4.35 a.m. So we wanted to be out in the road because by around 7.38, 8 a.m., the amount of animals you're going to see died down. Sunset was around 9 p.m. We want to be out on the road by 6 p.m. driving around, looking around, because the number of animals, you know, dies down. So let's go back to the wolves. Wolves, there, there are really like two main spots, at least while we were there, to see the wolves. They want, first is in the Hayden Valley and Mary Mountain area, okay? Um, and the second was in the Lamar Valley, which is on the northeastern side. Now, What's so cool about these areas is it's just a big, wide open valley. It's so beautiful. And if you go there like during the evenings, you'll see people are just camped out there. They're just sitting there. They've got their telescopes, their micros, uh, their uh, oh my God, I forgot. binoculars, um, scope lenses with cameras and all this stuff. And they're just kind of hanging out for two to three hours. And it's a good, fun, social thing to do while you're there. So you just kind of hang out. You talk to some other people, bring your hot chocolate or your tea or your snacks or your picnic or your dessert or your dinner even. And then you just kind of sit there and you kind of eat and talk and like scope out the thing and you wait to see if you're going to see some wolves that night. It's really cool. They have this, they do that in Hayden Valley, also near the Mary Mountain area, also up in Lamar Valley. Now, we, we would do that. So at night, it's great. And also in the morning, go there in the early morning. There's going to be a little bit less people. Um, but what happens is the wolves and the bears, they're out roaming at night. They like to hunt at night. Um, and also when it's, when there, there's no heat out and, um, and the animals can't see them coming obviously. And so they're still out when the sun rises, they're still kind of roaming around and sometimes very close to the roads, uh, because there's no people out. So those are great opportunities to see them. So the wolves, we only saw, we saw wolves several times. We only saw them early morning and we only saw them late at night. We did not see them throughout the day. And, um, so many of the other animals you will see throughout the day, even if you're just driving around at noon, one, two o'clock, but the wolves specifically, we did not see them unless it was early morning or late at night. And we only saw them Hayden Valley and Lamar Valley area. So make sure you get out there for that. Now, Something about the wolves, they don't come very close to the road, at least when we were there. They were there, you could see them, but they're pretty far out there. So you're gonna need binoculars to really get a good view. If you don't have binoculars, you can sort of see them like moving around, but it's not gonna be a great view. If you wanna take pictures or video of them, you've got to get a tripod and you need to get a really nice, powerful zoom lens, like a 600 millimeter or more zoom lens to be able to get good 
video or photos of them. Uh, my friend that we met there, um, he he we met him and he told us he uses this thing called this vortex lens and he showed us some videos of the wolves and it was amazing. Here, take a look. Here when they're eating that buffalo up on the There's bridge. There's one over there. He's after the pig. He left the bird trap. He also had some videos of the bears. Take a look at that. So that's what I, so I highly recommend you get one of those if you want to get solid, crisp photos and videos. Next time I go to Yellowstone, I'm definitely getting one of those lenses, okay? So wolves, Hayden Valley, Lamar Valley, early morning, late at night. Also, with the wolves, we went hiking in the back country in the early morning near Mary Mountain, up towards Mary Lake, and we came, there's a little bit muddy, and we were thinking of stopping and going back, and we said, no, let's just keep going. And we go, and we get up to this ridge and I look above the ridge and I see a big gray wolf like no more than 100 feet from me just like sitting there and the wolf looks at us and then he starts scratching himself and then he does one of these he just kind of closes his eyes puts his head up and he howls to the heavens and we he howled right in front of us and it was amazing and unfortunately I didn't get my camera out in time to, to grab it uh, but it was amazing and then we heard in the distance his buddy is howling back. And then the wolf did it again. He howled a second time, and then in the distance, his buddy is howled back. And it was such a beautiful, amazing experience. This happened about 7, 7.30 uh, in the morning. So if you hike a little bit in that area, the Hayden Valley in the uh, Mary Mountain area or the Lamar Valley area, you're gonna, you may run into these guys up close. And that's a really amazing experience because, again, the wolves tend to stay further back. Okay, so I've been talking so much about the wolves. Sorry about that. But I hope that helps you when you go to Yellowstone. Bears. Bears are quite literally everywhere in Yellowstone. So uh, you're probably going to see them. Shouldn't be a problem. But again, you're going to increase your chances if you do the sunrise, sunset thing I talked about. We saw, we drove up from Canyon Village all the way around through Mammoth Lakes um, and up to Tower Junction into Lamar Valley uh, around 6 p.m. So let's say 5.30 to about 7.15. That's how long the drive took-ish. Um, and we saw six or seven bears during that time. Every few minutes, we just would see a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, right? So again, that was kind of towards the sunset. And then all in that area, we see them. So the bears are quite literally um, in most places. Another place, so another place to spot the bears is Yellowstone Lake. There's a lot of bears there. Um, Grizzly Country is considered just east of Yellowstone Lake. You sort of head east along the path um, of, along Yellowstone Lake. There's, for, if you go for a couple miles there, there's supposed to be like 10 to 12 grizzly bears that live in that area. We didn't see any personally, but when we were driving along the road there, we, did, we saw a guy who said he just saw a grizzly go up into the mountains, and he was like trying to photograph it still. Um, so if you go, take that drive a couple times, you're probably going to see some grizzly bears. Um, also, up in Lamar Valley, there's bears as well up there. That's good bear country. So, you know, many of those places you're going to have bear. What we didn't see a lot of animals, especially bears, was kind of around the old faithful geyser region. There may be there, but we just didn't see a whole ton of animals while we were over there. So if you're out bear hunting, Yellowstone Lake, Lamar Valley, the drive up to Lamar Valley, um, or head east around Lake Lodge. You could also drive from Canyon Village up to Tower Junction, that area. Again, the road was closed while we were there, but I've heard that is good predator uh, territory, especially bears as well. Okay, elk. You're going to see elk quite often. What you really want to see is the elk with the antlers, which are really, really cool. Um, we So if you go by in, um, between Canyon Village and where they have horseback riding, right next to the horseback riding, we would see almost consistently every single time we drove by there, two giant elk with big antlers just kind of waiting in the grass there and it always created this long line of cars to check it out and see them and it was absolutely beautiful it almost felt like a zoo because on cue every single time we went there there they were just kind of sitting there beautiful so you'll get some great videos great some pictures there i don't know if they're going to be there when you're there but they were just kind of sitting there and that seemed sort of seemed to be their territory they would roam around there sometimes we would see them a little bit further down the road that sort of seemed to be where they like to hang out so you'll probably see them in that area if uh, when you go there fourth animal bison you're gonna literally see bison everywhere they are the most populous animal in Yellowstone you'll see them 
by the geysers. We saw saw one sitting right outside, right next to Old Faithful geyser. Um, they're going to be crossing the road. You're definitely going to see them crossing the road at times. So you're going to see them everywhere. One of the best spots to see a big herd of them, though, is up in North Lamar Valley. We drove there around sunset, and we saw hundreds of bison right by the road, and many of them were crossing, and it was absolutely just a magnificent, beautiful experience. If you're into photography and pictures, uh, you can get some great pictures and videos of them, too. We post, we're posting those to our Instagram, so be sure to follow us at Dustin's Travels on Instagram. So, But bison are going to be everywhere. Uh, just keep in mind with bison and as with all animals, keep your distance. Some people like to get a little bit too close. And, you know, actually the day we left, a guy, an older guy got within 10 feet of a bison. And guess what the bison did? It charged him. Uh, he was okay, but he still got injured. So with all animals, you want to keep your distance. These are wild animals, okay? So just keep that in mind. Fifth, moose. I think the moose are the hardest, most elusive animal to find in Yellowstone. Um, I did see them once, about two or three of them, but they were way, they was on the west side, but they were way off in the distance, hidden behind some trees, so I couldn't really get any good pictures or videos of them. Um, moose, generally speaking, they're going to be on the western side, especially at the kind of the part of the northern loop, western, that's good moose territory. Also, northern part near Lamar Valley is also good moose territory. We didn't really see many while we were there, but that's sort of what we heard, and um, again, I did see three moose on the western side very far away. If we had gotten there sooner, maybe they would have been closer to the road. Okay. Um, bighorn sheep or mountain goats. So mountain goats, there's a lot of them on the northern side of the park. We didn't see any of them on the southern side, but we saw a lot of them on the northern side. And we actually drove up right up on one and he was right by the road, which is kind of rare. Usually the mountain goats hang out, tend to hang out a little bit further back. Uh, Bighorn sheep also, they hang out. You can see, there's some places where you can see some bighorn sheep, but many times they're way up in the mountains. So you're going to need a nice scope lens to kind of see them. We did see the one coming in when we first arrived on the east side, but it was so far up, you couldn't really, like barely even with the naked eye, be, be able to see it. Um, cougars, bobcats, lynxes, those things, they are there in Yellowstone, believe it or not, but they are almost impossible to find. They're up in the very northern part, um, up in the mountains, and very, very few people have ever seen them or had encounters with them. Um, so I wouldn't really count on being able to see them. Cougars in general like to be secretive, and there's not very many of them. I think there's like 15 or 20 or something in all of Yellowstone, and they're very, very far north, so unlikely you're going to see them. Um, and that's basically it. There's coyotes too, which we've seen sporadically here and about. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a coyote and a wolf. Um, usually the wolves are going to be traveling in packs or, um, not always, but sometimes they'll have like two or three or four of them together. The coyotes also are going to be a lot smaller than the wolves. Again, it's hard to tell because the coyotes, like the wolves, usually tend to stay further back. Um, but if you get a good look, if it looks like a giant coyote, it's probably a wolf. It's kind of like a, like a smaller dog. This is probably a coyote, even though they sort of look the same. So that is where to see all the best of the best animals in Yellowstone National Park. If this video helps you, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Um, we'd be tr truly grateful. And I'll see you in the next video.